Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So we have a few more things down this way to show you, but the most important ones are Let's see, we have a custom map area, yeah, um, we'll end up there, let's go down here. Uh, did you see that? There's a sheep running in the roller coaster. Okay, I'm not going to get on the roller coaster then. We've we've done this on a previous episode. I'll see if I can find a link and put it in. Uh, Barb makes things built to this roller coaster, and it's really impressive. And it's uh, a little bit crazy. It's big. It goes all over the place. There's a there's a drop. Goes nearly. Build limit to build limit. <laughs> build limit to brother rock. And there's this giant obsidian uh, dragon here. It's all cool. Okay. Um, so this is this is pretty sweet. Where was that? Uh... And I've lost the portal, of course. Okay, um, I will go find the portal and get back into the nether. And there's one other thing down this way that I don't remember offhand where it is getting to it from the overworld, but uh, I know where it is to the nether. And then we will get back to this, which is, I think, part five of the sort of end of season world tour. All right, see you in a bit. Hi, kitty. How are you? You want to go visit the birdies, but we're going to go in this way here. So we needed a space where we could go find the birds and wanted a good source of cats. So I found a jungle island and we burned it to the ground. Uh, that's what this is here. Hopefully it's still roughly daylight. It is. So this island that we're standing on is entirely a jungle biome <laughs> and we, we basically flattened it out and cats spawn here. So this was uh, where I got most of my cats. And then over there, we tried to burn this down because that's more jungle and um, and over here, I think VexFX builds a little bird farm. Yeah, right here, a little aviary thing. Ow. Um, so cats in a chest. Hi. And of course you can't open the chest. That's fine. So then we built, he built this little um, aviary that had parrots in it at one point. I don't know where the parrots went. That's okay. Uh, so that was this purely utilitarian, nothing super critical, and uh, no real builds out here other than that little aviary. Let's get back in to the nether. So this was this was another fun. Oh, how did those never get updated? I'm surprised when I was building this walkway, I didn't just pop a torch on there just to watch the gravel fall. So anyway, this uh, this was another 
a stressful bridge to build out because it's over another lava lake and there's a another fortress over there. And there's not too much more. We built a couple more way down, found one, went to a village. There's some villagers in there and there's a bunch, there were a bunch of horses and we were breeding horses, but not that big of a deal. But over here, we have this. This is a thing that uh, FXFX laid this out. <coughs> and Barb makes things helped out with it. Got all these different colors of, of uh, concrete powder and sun going down. But up here, built this big old space that's exactly the size of a map. So let's, uh, there should be a bed in here. And there should be a bed in here, but I'm not sure there is. Okay. Well, that just complicated. Oh, it's right here in the ground. Jeez. There we go. All right. So come out here and there is some neat terrain around here I believe I go up a ways and we look down you can see look at this uh, so you can lay out if you take a map and you go and map out this whole area here it is exactly one map worth of blocks so by setting the blocks that you need you could make a custom map which is pretty cool it's a pretty neat idea i think over this way we have another mining area where we were getting a bunch of sand some neat terrain here too um but not a whole lot else got built out here this was chosen because it was out of the way um and yeah, I think we were doing some sand mining along here. And of course, XFX got a lot of sand flattening out this area. But, uh, and you put up these blocks so that the stuff wouldn't spawn above, I guess. I don't know. The glass does not um, affect the map. Let's see. I would hope that there would be a chest inside here that has some maps in it. I would hope. Empty map. Let's take one of these and let's go map out and see what this uh, what this one looks like. So you come up and get inside the inside the boundary and then you can you can pop this up and look at it and look. And I think, and I think you have to zoom it out a couple times. So I have to remind myself how to do that because it's been a while. So I think you need empty paper or more maps. I don't remember which. Big hole there. So this was used for some of the stuff in Crash Space and the, the online Crash Space to make some of the, the decorative like walls and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So if I go and let's see, take some of this paper and there should be a crafting table in here. All right, crafting table. It's gotta be a crafting table. Ah. <sighs> You would think there has to be a crafting table here somewhere, even if it's outside. Well, I have stuff in here. 
Let's see. Block box. I believe I have crafting tables. Right, right, right here, right here. Crafting table. Put this back away. Put this down here. And then we can put the... This really should go right here. Right? Plop. There we go. And now, let's see if I put my map in. Does it surround this with paper? Yeah, look at that. And now I just screwed it up. Excellent. Excellent work there, there. Okay, so if I put this map up here because I don't need any more, I put that there. And then I go back to my crafting table. And without even mapping it, I just zoom it out. Or I have to map it first. I don't know. Let's take the crafting table with me. Oops. Um, I broke it. Oh, because. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I broke it because there's a haste beacon here. And. Okay, so. These sandstones went here, right? Right like that. And then the stairs went here. And then there's a slab here. There's a slab here. Right there. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, let's get outside. Let's go out to the center, roughly, of the map area. If I can actually figure out where that is. Feels like maybe here-ish. I don't know. And then take this empty map, put it here, and okay. And then we get that out of my hand, put this down, and I put this, and I expanded this map. That. And I break my crafting table with the map. No, I feel like I did something wrong. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to sort this out now. There was a trick to it. I think it could get better resolution. Or maybe it was just the one base map. And that zooming it out is just the wrong thing to do. Don't know. Okay. So there we go. Anyway, that was the custom map area. Um, okay. So the last thing that we need to look at is uh, at least in the over well no two last things okay last thing we're going to look at this episode is we're going to go check out Pete and uh, Smashers Smash Smash's place and to look at the end uh, I'll see you when we get there okay this portal goes out in Pete and Smash's place but. This is this is very important, and we will go down here. And there is a dog that got abandoned out here. I don't know whose dog it is. It's out here in the Nether. And it's been sitting there for ages. But there's some very important stuff down at the end of this lawn. And the important stuff out in this map, for some reason, all seems to be 
the portals to it seems to be in the middle of uh, nether fortresses. But let's step through here and see what we see. All right, it's night time out here, but uh, important thing. Over there is a big mushroom island, mushroom island. Never did a whole lot with it. Uh, kind of wish I had. And I think we will rectify that in the next season. Uh, I have some stuff here because this was kind of a staging ground for that. Um, and what that is... Ooh, is the Guardian Farm. Um, so, of course, that was an ocean monument. And we... Uh, took it over, tore it down, and uh, built a guardian farm that I think still works. Built this underwater thing to it. Look at that. Guardians are fallen. This is a pretty remarkable thing. And yes, it still works. Um... And uh, it does pretty good when I'm the only person on the server. Kind of wanted to go and decorate the walls, build some pixel art or something. Didn't really uh, get around to it. Underneath this is a gargantuan hopper array. It's probably not the most lag efficient thing in the world, but it works. Uh, and then in here, I've got all the drops. Prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. And uh, ink sacks. Back when this also spawns squids. Does not do that any longer. And I got fish and fish. And uh, overflow. And then these are all crafted blocks, including the ever important uh, sea lanterns. Uh, and behind the scenes here, this is just a remarkable... Uh, of course, building this now, I would use bubble columns, but uh, but this was uh, the way I got stuff around. And if we go, it's the best way up there. Over here. So. Oh, wow. That's right. So the drops come up, they all get fed down at the end of a hopper chain here and they come up here and they get uh, popped up to this water stream through a little glass elevator. And then I figured, uh, I figured out this, that you kind of have to put this little S bend in the water stream in order to keep stuff from like shooting out. And then I ran it down here and it goes into this loop, and then it gets picked up by these hopper mine carts down into a sorter. Um, it's all super complicated, and and these guys are all backed up uh, because it really cannot handle the volume that I sort of built this thing. And then they come over here, and and they get they get all backed up along here too um yeah it's just it, it's it's a mess but um so there's a lot of wasted stuff but it works and we get a ton of stuff out of it and uh, i split it up to try and reduce it i i split it up and i have half of the um half of the drops come over this side and go up that side so i don't know but this is pretty cool and this was an important resource for us to get some of these blocks so we'll have to build something like this on the next server too eventually it's more of an end game thing but there we go all right let's go back and check out uh people smash this place and the end
Ooh, so Pete and Smash built this space here. It's it's a bit of a labyrinth. It's laid out. It's complicated, and um, I don't even know what a lot of the areas were meant to do. The cow farm. They have they have uh, stuff up on the surface, and uh, they have a large cow farm and oh what is this I don't know that I saw this oh wow oh ah so yeah so here's their little area, and sun's coming up, so we'll, uh, this is probably reasonably safe. Fly up around a little bit. So they've got uh, some farm stuff here, and right next to this desert, and a uh, big cow farm. Uh, over here and then this bridge oh this is the little mining mace area where they built a, a little shack and this right here most importantly goes down to the end portal so let's uh let's go down here there we go there's the end portal Ooh. ah so the end portal puts you out here onto a block of obsidian separated from the island a little bit um killed the dragon a bunch of times so we have lots of the little teleportation gateway thingies here um and lots of exploration happened in the end. It's only really two builds to speak of. And one of them is uh, down this bridge. Or two of them. The important two. Let's, uh, I built a bridge out to the outer islands. <laughs> which, I don't know. I did it because I could. Um, and I grabbed some blop, and I put a rail on the bridge because it was a little tedious to walk all the time. So about halfway in between, because it was out of range of the islands, I stopped and I built a couple things. So let's, uh, when we get there, we'll take a look. So here we had two very important pieces of infrastructure. One, the Enderman Farm. Pretty straightforward Enderman Farm. Not the most efficient in the world, but it works. And uh, it's all protected with carpet and... Um, and... Designed so that you come up here and you manually kill them. So they're one hit kills. Uh, and then they drop all their XP and... Uh, and then I've got hoppers under here to pick up... Uh, ender pearls. Uh, which get carried all the way over there. Item elevator and up to the top. And the ender pearls get dumped into... A shulker box loader, and so I've got shulker boxes full of ender pearls. Okay, and then on this side, I, I did kind of a cheaty thing. Uh, I built a shulker farm, shulker shell farm. So, um, because the the way the end works in this version of Minecraft. Shulkers are not uh, uh, 
Uh, show cards are not renewable. 1.17, they are. So it's built, it's possible to build a, you know, legit shulker farm in, um, in creative. But what I did in this case was the only bit that I switched into survival and creative, sorry, it's now possible to build a legit shulker farm in survival. Um, and this case, whoops, uh, whoa. Uh, in this case, uh, it is. I went into creative, and I created a little. Uh, I, I placed the spawner, and I turned it into a shulker spawner. And this little piece of wall is the only place where the shulkers really have to go. So if you sit here long enough, they will come and they will basically fill up that wall. And then when you kill them, they drop their shulker shells and occasionally shulker skulls. So you come here and, and zap them, you get a bit of XP. Uh, but shulker shells or shulker boxes are extremely useful to have. So yeah, this became a, this became a very useful, very useful piece of infrastructure for us. And the only bit, the only real cheaty thing on the server. Uh, so now that you can build a legit creative or legit survival shulker farm, won't need to do this necessarily, but having a source of shulker boxes is very important. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave it for this time. Uh, when we come back, we have really, I think, only one or two more things to really pay attention to. And that will wrap up the world tour. And then we can start on... Minecraft Lab Party Season 3. All right, so there you go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron, and I will see you next time. Right, bye.